Hey guys, we're going to do make it fun today. If you're in person and you want, you can um, turn this video off after the first slide and you can have your kids mark it. So what we're going to do is today I have some words on the board and we're going to talk about which ones are closed syllables and which ones aren't. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to put an X on any word that's not a closed syllable. Remember guys, a closed syllable is when after the vowel, there is at least one consonant. Okay. And it's a single vowel. So after a single vowel, that means one. So after you see one vowel in a word, there is at least one or more consonants after it. So if you are in person and you want to do this, you can do this on your screen, project it however you want to do it. Otherwise, we're going to keep on going. I need somebody to raise up their hand and you're going to tell me if this is an open or a closed syllable. I just need a yes or no. If it's a no, I want you to tell me to put an X on it. If it's a yes, I want you to read it for me. That's right. X, that here is the vowel E and there's nothing behind it. That's called an open syllable where the words or the letter says its name because we know that word is we. I'm gonna put the next one up. I need somebody to decide, raise their hand and tell us if this is a closed syllable. If so, I need you to read it. If it's not, we're gonna put an X on it. Okay, so hopefully somebody told us this is a closed syllable because there is my vowel with a consonant after it. I have the brev above it and I marked it as a closed syllable. And the word is trim, trim. Like you cut your hair, you trim things. Okay, I need someone to tell us whether this is a closed syllable or not. If not, we're gonna put an X over it. That's right, this is a one syllable word and you see this E at the end, even though there's a consonant right behind it, this is actually called vowel consonant E. We haven't talked about that yet, but that E gives all the power to the I, so the I says its name. So this is the word bite, so we're gonna put an X over it. Here's the next word. I need someone to tell us if this is a closed syllable or not. That's right, guys, this is not a closed syllable. Look at that, two vowels. We just talked this week that two vowels is called a vowel team. So this is not a closed syllable. It's the word foam. We're gonna put an X on it. Here's the next word. I need somebody to tell me if this is a closed syllable or not. That's right, it certainly is. And what's the word? It. Absolutely, because we're gonna underline it. We're gonna put our brev above the I, telling us it's a short vowel. And we're gonna put a C because that makes it a closed syllable. Here's my next word. I want somebody to tell us whether or not this is a closed syllable. That's right, it is. And we would mark it with a line under the whole syllable, put a brev above the short vowel and put a C underneath to tell us it is a closed syllable. And what's this word? That's right, the word is wept. And wept is actually the past tense of weeping, which means to cry. So if I said last night, I dropped something on my foot and I wept because it hurt so much, that would mean I cried. Here's the next word. I need somebody to tell us whether this is a closed syllable or not. That's right, it certainly is. And what's the word? 
fun. That's right. And we know this is a closed syllable because we've underlined the whole syllable. We've put the brev above the U. <clears throat> we've put the C telling us it's a closed syllable. Since there's at least one consonant behind the vowel, we know the vowel says the short vowel sound. Here's the next word. Somebody tell me if this is a short vowel or not, or a closed syllable or not. That's right, it is. We're gonna underline the whole syllable. We're gonna put a brev above the short vowel and put a C underneath so we know it's a closed syllable. And what's this word? That's right, the word had. Two more. I need somebody to tell us whether this is a closed syllable or not. That's right, it certainly is. That U is closed in by the G. So we're gonna underline the syllable. We're gonna put the brev to tell us that's a short U. We're gonna put a C so we know it's a closed syllable. And what's this word? That's right, shrug. Everybody shrug your shoulders, shrug. Here's our last word. I need somebody to tell us whether this is a closed syllable or not. That's right, it's not, it's a vowel team. We just learned this week that A, Y, play A, right? So that gets a big old X. Now we're gonna do story time. Fred the Frog. I want everybody to look at that. What do you think this story might be about? Yeah, right? A frog named Fred. Let's find out what happens to Fred the Frog. Okay, friends, I want you to read the first sentence to yourself. And actually, I'm going to stop this video because I want your teacher to tell you how they want you to break it up. But everybody's going to read the story. Then once you read the story, you can start the video again so that we can answer the questions like we've been doing of characters, remember, which is the who or what the story is about, the setting, which is the place and the when, and then the main events. Remember, the main events are things you can see happening. Okay, so you and your class can read this story, practice it, and when you're ready, you can go to the next slide, and your teacher will need to um, get back into the presentation because I'm going to stop the video so you can write in your slide. Great job, friends. <laughs> 